But now, I've got to introduce the first guest as quickly as possible. Gosh, that inspired piece of slow motion overacting gonna mean only one thing. Yes, it's my six million dollar first guest, Lee Majors! <laughs> in the flesh. And actually, you, it is <coughs> slightly frightening because you really haven't changed at all. There was a time when I could have jumped from there to here, but um, that's been a while back. Here, have a drink. You might try it later. Well, that was the later show. The fall guy would tumble down the steps. <laughs> I know, the fall guy. I like the fall guy. Because people always talk about the $6 million man, but I like the fall guy. I did too. Yeah. Uh, too. It was a little more humor. Now, before we get on to the $6 million man, because you know we're going to... Uh, <laughs> You got to California. Now, is it true that you were discovered hanging around a park in L.A.? I mean, not in a George Michaelie <laughs> way, but... <laughs> you going with that? Well, no, you tell me. <laughs> uh, I worked at a recreation uh, park, yeah. Uh, I uh, was a park director while I was in training for an act, to be an actor and, and was doing stunts. And, yes, I worked for the recreation parks department. And then when I got my first job, um, I stayed at the park for another, because I wasn't sure the pilot of the Big Valley was going to go, so I stayed working at the park. And then finally, after about two years, I sent in my uh, resignation. After the series had gone about three years. <laughs> but now, you did uh, appear in Barbara Stanwyck's Big Valley. And I wonder, <laughs> was, was your part hard there? Yeah, it was, uh, it was difficult. <laughs> she was very demanding. Mm. She's not Lady Laughter, is she? No, no. She was, uh, she was a real disciplinarian, and uh, I think I learned... That's where I learned to be on time. And, and uh, when they say, you know, action, I'm there, I know my words, I hit the marks, and uh, I go home happy. But uh, <laughs> she was very, very tough, but very good. She kind of took me under her wing and taught me a lot about acting. But now, it is true that how we remember you best is as... <laughs> <laughs> the six million dollar man in your red suit. I know, isn't it cute? Now, did you have one of these? Did you have one of these? With the bionic eye. Oh. Look, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's probably making quite dull television right now, but <laughs> for me, it's amazing. And, uh, and the, little, the little red suit there. Very nice. Mind you, light a match near that, you're gone. <laughs> but you were a bit of a fashion icon. Because you didn't just wear that, no. You had lots of other outfits. Lovely, this. <laughs> Wonderful, wasn't it? Denim leisure. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely accessories. Let's see the accessories. The right epaulets. The epaulets. Those Make it. shoes. Look at them. <laughs> it's hard to get leather that colour. <laughs> unless you killed you the charmers. <laughs> anyway, it's an extraordinary gig because. You, you know, you went on, you did very successful series after that, but six minutes, it never goes away. You can still turn on the television and watch it, they bring out the yeah. video, it, it just never goes away. Why, why do you think it's so appealing still? The way I look at it is it was a, it was a show that the kids could watch, and the, and the families uh, got together and watched it, and uh, there was no violence. Whenever I, I threw a man down or not, I hit a man or something, he got up. We, ne we never killed anybody. There was not that much violence. And uh, I think it was a great kid show. And they had an idol, you know, and they were kids running, jumping off barns and trying to... <laughs> <Breaking legs and laughs> stuff. But I got to tell you, it was the hardest years I've ever had in acting. I mean, that was that show was very, very physically tough. Uh, I have to have a knee replacement pretty soon because I have no cartilage in this knee from jumping and running and doing all the stunts and stuff. But, uh, but, and they didn't pay me at all. <laughs> God, if only they were doing you now. <laughs>